Today, I am giving away one of my big secrets. Um, I went through periods of my life, and I still do this a lot, where, where I would only eat raw food as a cleanse. As I don't think it's a sustainable. That's a different topic. Um, but I would only eat raw foods, and I wouldn't use any product that I wouldn't eat. I wouldn't uh, put something in my hair or skin um, or even clean around the house or anything with something that I didn't think was safe enough to put that I would want to put it in my mouth. So for the most part, I found that this is pretty sustainable. And there's a lot of websites where you can go and you can find natural cleaners, natural shampoos, natural soaps, natural uh, dish dishes, everything. I mean, it's in it's, my my opinion is this is a really important um, thing to incorporate in your life. We have chemical creep that has happened over the last hundred years or more. People think it's natural to spray an air freshener in the air and to put to lather unknown chemicals in your skin. And then we have all of these really unsightly health problems and we don't know why that is and I think it's because we're performing a big experiment on ourselves and I think in the future uh, we're either not going to make it, we're either going to get sicker and sicker, which there are signs of that, or we'll figure that out and we'll look back at these times and, and we'll think about how uh, naive we were to think that um, all those chemistry could supplant what can happen naturally. That being said, of all the things I did, um, there were some challenges to find out how to um, how to incorporate a completely or as chemical free of a life as I could. And one of the hardest things I had I found was finding a deodorant that worked. And I know from looking online that I think a lot of other people have also had this problem. So I'm going to tell you today what worked for me. And I've had this tried this with some other people. It doesn't work for everyone, but it's worked better for me than even the deodorants, the the name brand deodorants that I used to use. And um, I was actually going to save this as a secret and come out with the product, but I'll talk about that in a second. So what did I find? Well, I've, I go through research phases where I learn about other different, separate vitamins and minerals and stuff, and I kind of go through and, and I get excited about them. And I went through a phase of learning about zinc. And so, of course, when you're learning about zinc, you, you, know, you want to learn everything about it. And um, I started looking at different sources of zinc. And what I was able to find was that uh, zinc oxide, topically, it was wonderful as a deodorant and uh, I found that and I won't explain how I found that out um, I was just researching it so I tried to figure out how I would actually I found out that it was just kept things dry and so then I just started using deodorant found out that worked wonderful so where are you gonna get zinc oxide well one of the easiest ways I found is actually through diaper rash cream I have some of that right here um, this is like the Target I think generic brand it doesn't have to be that brand uh, you can find a brand that you like there are um, a lot of choices in diaper rash cream, of course. What to look for? Well, you want diaper rash cream that has zinc oxide. Not all of them do. Um, I can, I'm pretty sure that that's the active ingredient. That's the thing that seems to be, have worked the best. 10% or 12% seems to be real common. Occasionally, you'll find one that has up to 40%, and that's how you know this works because that just keeps things so dry. Remember, I'm a chiropractor. I work close with people, and I live in California, so um, it's important for me to, you know, I care about my health and not using chemicals, but I, of course, have to look after how I present to people. Um, so those have been those are important things. The, the zinc oxide. The other thing you want to make sure you avoid is some of them will have. Um, it depends on how it's listed on the ingredient label, DHA or um, some other sort of form of oil, and I think it's listed differently. So excuse me for not knowing how they're all listed. But those come from fish, and those will have a kind of a weird medicinal smell, and especially with time, that doesn't work well. Okay, so I want you guys to try this. Let me know how it goes. It's super cheap, lasts forever. It's pretty healthy. I would, I would have a, I could put zinc oxide on my body, have no problems. Now there are, I think, better forms of zinc, and there are sometimes uh, issues with the other ingredients in diaper rash cream. Although since it's made for babies, they tend to be pretty good. That being said, the reason I was going to keep this a secret is because I was going to try to make my own product that could be a diaper rash cream. You can use it on feet, especially if you don't like to wear socks or if you get sweaty feet. Um, you can use it anywhere that you're using your body where odor or wetness is an issue. Um, if you know someone that can help me release a product, I would love to do that. I want to have a different form of zinc and I want to try to find one that has absolutely um, very little environmental impact and um, uses fewer chemicals. But in the meanwhile, this has been a pretty good um, solution for me. I hope it's a good solution for you. I hope these tips help. And uh, let me know how that works in the comments below. Talk to you guys soon.